Hey guys, this week on Chuckload of Comics, we're talking about The Vision. The Vision! Man, we've been waiting to talk about this book for a long time, and it's coming back out to a store near you in a director's cut version. So stick around, we're going to talk all about it right here, Chuckload of Comics. Hey guys, uh, welcome to Chuck Load of Comics. My name's Chuck Lindsay. I'm Shauna Lindsay. Very special show for you today. This is the 20th episode of Chuck Load of Comics. What? Yeah, 20 episodes. Wow. That means we've done 20 episodes. <laughs> and so here we are with episode number 20. Cheers. Uh, cheers to that, man. Clink. Thanks for watching. Thanks mm -hmm. for being a part of the Chuck Load of Comics fun that is on YouTube. Yep. <laughs> uh, so, very special episode. Today we're talking about The Vision, our favorite book that's, that we've ever read. I mean, it's just By such far. a fantastic book. Um, a special episode goes out to our good friend and longtime viewer, Mr. Leo Fitzgerald. Hey, Leo. Leo, if you're watching this show, we're finally going to get around to doing The Vision Show. <laughs> he wrote us an email about him two months ago and said, why haven't you guys done a show about The Vision? Well, here we go. Uh, it took a while, but yeah. I'm glad we waited because this week, The Vision comes out in director's cut form. So cool. The book is so great, it's coming back in a paperback form, which I don't think, okay. I can't remember has ever happened before. I can't either, and like you had said before, it's coming back a year after yeah. it was already released. And so. it's not, we're not talking about trades, that happens all the time. It's like they are actually just going back to the presses with this book that's so fantastic and it's in director's cut form. We're going to talk all about the director's cut, the re-release that's coming out, and we're going to get all into this book for you. We're going to tell you everything that's so great about this fantastic book, but before we do that, time for a shout out. Shout out. This week's shout out goes to a very special viewer, a guy by the name of Bob Franz. My brother, my little brother. John's little brother. <laughs> Send us a picture. Here's the picture right here. <laughs> what are you looking at? Bobby Franz is currently, he's with the United States Navy. He made a custom patch. <laughs> I don't know why, because he's a super <laughs> fan of Chuck Load of Comics. That's why. Yeah, I do know why. Yeah, well. He had this patch made, and he wears this patch proudly on his camouflage outfit. That's right. Chuck Load of Comics custom patch. That's I can't right. believe he did that. This is like the most wild thing to ever happen for us. Ever. <laughs> How cool is that? People are making custom merchandise. I know. And even though he didn't heed your warning, it just makes him a bigger target probably, yeah, but yeah. you know. Probably a bad idea. <laughs> probably not a good idea. Patch. But good for you, man. Way it's to go. Bobby. You'll be getting a call from our lawyers because I don't think you had clearance to make Chuck Load of Comics patches. <laughs> That's copyrighted. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with that later. So thanks, Bobby. The shout out goes to you. Keep doing what you're doing over there in the Middle East and thanks for bringing us extra Middle East viewers. <laughs> Something right. we have very few of, I think. So probably. keep spreading the word about the show, Bobby. You rock. <laughs> so enough about Bobby Franz. Let's talk about the vision. Yes, let's do that. Oh, I want, I want you all to read this book. Yes. It's a fantastic book. It came out in 2015, 2016. Well, it came out in 2015, right after the Secret Wars mm -hmm. event that Marvel did. They did. They kind of re-released. They, they rewrote all these stories. And how do we even get into this? Shauna's having a nice drink of beer over there. Yeah, it's empty. Sorry. So the vision came out. It's by uh, Tom King. And the art by Gabriel Gabriel Hernandez Walta. Oh, so fantastic artist, fantastic writer. Um, Tom King, let's say a little bit, little bit of what we know about Tom King. Not only is he the most fantastic writer we know of, but he used to work for the CIA. Did you what? know that? <laughs> no, I actually didn't. I'm not know even kidding. That. Uh, Tom King, if you're watching this, Tom this King, insane. please don't send any CIA agents to our house and, oh and kill us or anything. But yeah. <laughs> Um, I read this in his Wikipedia. He's probably watching this and, and laughing his ass off because oh it's probably gosh. not even true, but it is true. So, so yeah, he used to work in Marvel. He was an intern at Marvel for a long time. He worked with Chris Claremont, the god that is Chris Claremont, oh, working on the X-Men. And then he took a break, went and worked for the government for a little while, but he came back with a vengeance. Uh, no kidding. He worked with uh, Tim Seeley, Chicago's own Tim Seeley, on uh, his amazing run, Tim Seeley's amazing run of... Uh, Grayson. Grayson. Yeah. Uh, that was a fantastic run, but after he did that, he made... The Vision. The Vision! Oh my gosh, that's crazy. You worked for the CIA. Yeah, yeah. And I think I read somewhere in Thanks the back Wikipedia. of the book that like, that's where he met his wife. And <laughs> ah, so that's, that's awesome. cool. Tom King, sorry if we're getting this wrong because it is Wikipedia, but hey. I know. It could be all <laughs> bullshit, but it sounded right. That just means you need to write a biography. We'll read it. I'd read it. I'd see your movie, Tom King. <laughs> that's right. That's how cool you are. 
Um, so yeah, he did The Vision. The Vision is a 12 issue run mm -hmm. of just a fantastic, fantastic run. Um, his amazing writing mixed with uh, Gabriel Walta's fantastic art was just a match made in heaven. And they, they did the Lord's work with this 12 issue <laughs> right? book. And so let's get let's get into it, okay? okay. What's the let's book about? The Vision, the character of The Vision, you know who he is. Uh, he's a synthesoid. He you may know him from obviously the Avengers books mm -hmm. and the Avengers movie. Um, the Vision is a synthesoid. He's, he's an android made of synthetic organs and synthetic uh, blood and muscles and stuff. Son of Ultron. Right, he's son of Ultron. Mm -hmm. He was created by Ultron. Ultron made him to infiltrate the Avengers and kill all the Avengers. Uh, but with Vision said, you know what? He flipped the script on him and said, you know what? Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to join the Avengers. <laughs> and the rest is history. So he's a fantastic character. He's a very mm -hmm. deep emotional character just to begin with, but... He's kind of like the data of Star Trek. He's or the data of he's Marvel. He's the data of Marvel. Good point. I, really, I never thought I never about put it, two and yeah. two together. Very, very similar yeah. to data. Sure. <laughs> so in this book, what Tom King took this amazing character of the Vision and made an all-new story, basically the Vision moves to the suburbs. He makes a family <laughs> for himself. He uh, creates a family, creates a wife and two uh -huh. kids. Virginia is his wife, his kids Vin and Viv. Mm -hmm. He makes a family and he moves out to the suburbs of Washington, D.C. to yep. start a wonderful, happy life. <laughs> and on the surface, that sounds like a really nice, right. calm, fun book. Well, it's not. Because <laughs> being human is not always great. Right. And you find that out like in the first panel of the first page of the first issue of The Vision. You realize this is going to be a very dark, mm -hmm. very dark, creepy borderline scary book mm -hmm. which is kind of crazy because when i heard it was first coming out i totally thought it was going to be a joke thing like a a comedic yeah. relief oh the vision's got a family and they're trying to live in dc but no yeah, not at yeah. all you look it's at the really cover of the and, first issue yeah. and it's like oh this is going to be a really happy yeah jokey kind of book but you find out in the first page that it's not um the the the, the stories that they deal with i mean it's, it's mm -hmm. this book has got so many layers it's an emotional book it's like it shows this family dealing with you know what it's like to be a human what it's like to be a family what it's like to be a husband and be in a marriage and what it's like to be a kid going to high school mm -hmm. i mean they deal with all of this seriously emotional stuff and it's just written perfectly yeah. it's like the, the whole thing is narrated with this amazing narration um every single thing that they deal with is just like you're, you're there it's a gut-wrenching tale mm -hmm of this, this android family living amongst humans and yep. trying their damnedest to be so human. Just, right, and, and it's also dealing in. with, kind of like, touches the borderline of like racism in America as well too, because they're obviously not human, so they're right. dealing with all this prejudice against well, you them see being... That, you said that in the first issue. Um, we're, yeah. not gonna, we're not gonna, we're not gonna go into no all 12 issues. <laughs> we're not gonna spoil it for you. As much as I wanna tell you every single twist mm -hmm. and turn of this book, I'm not gonna do it. But I will tell you the first <laughs> issue um, deals a lot like with what Sean was talking about. From the very first page, the neighbors come over mm -hmm. and they get introduced to the Vision family for the first time. Just like you as a reader get introduced to what this book is going to be like. Yep. So the neighbors come over, the Vision family, they open the door, they let them in. And you can tell right away the neighbors are like, what is this weird right. family living in my neighborhood? There's, they're <laughs> a little bit scared of them. They don't. They're not welcoming. But uh -huh. the visions are trying really hard to fit in and be nice. Mm -hmm. And as the couple is walking over, their the wife made them cookies. It's again, not no spoilers, but she made them cookies. And the husband's like, "Why did you make them cookies? They're robots." And yeah. then they have this whole argument about how they're not robots. <laughs> yeah, they're it's actually very, human. Very it's just really deep, interesting. Deep, 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 deep book. And you find it also in the first issue. The first issue is incredible. Mm -hmm. If you read the first issue, you'll be hooked for all twelve <laughs> issues. But the first issue really, I mean, the book focuses a lot on the wife. Mm -hmm. um, the, the dynamic of the family is, you know, the Vision is an Avenger, so he's off avenging, doing <laughs> Avenger stuff all day, going to the White House and meeting with the president. Uh, the two kids, Vin and Viv, they go to high school, yep. and a lot of the story is like how they're fitting in in high school, how they're mm -hmm. fitting in with other kids, making friends, not making friends. Um, but it really focuses a lot on the wife, because the wife is staying at home. She doesn't really have a life like the kids do, and like the Vision does. So you find out just in that first issue, she spends a lot of time sitting alone at home, yeah. wondering what's what's the point of my life? What's the point of being? Because they're very why are philosophical. We doing this? So they they're think incredibly a lot. philosophical. Like Shauna said, they're like data from Star Trek. Yeah. Just, they, they take everything so literally, and they're constantly trying to figure out what's what. And so she's just she's very depressed, 
and it took me like three readings. I've read this entire series three times. I think Sean, you read it twice I'm, I'm at least. I'm going on two. <laughs> and every time I read it, it just gets better. You, you see more and more about these characters, it's the sadness, yeah. the happiness, what makes them happy, what makes them depressed. And all the foreshadowing that you probably missed the first time you read it because you're not sure what's going to happen in this book. Man, yeah. You reread issue one and you're just like, oh, this is why I love this book. It's so great. It's great. <laughs> I mean, just pick, if you just pick up the first one, you'll, your mind will be blown. It's the most amazing book written by Marvel in 20 years. I'm I mean, going to say ever. Maybe ever. <laughs> it might be. Um, Thanks, all you Tom people King. who like books, you people from Chicago Review of Books, mm -hmm. our partners, um, you'd love this book. If you're yeah. looking to get into comics, pick up the vision. It's going to blow your mind. It's absolutely incredible. And that's just the writing. So let's talk about the art for just a second. The art by Gabriel Hernandez Walta. You're the man, Gabe. Gabe, you crush it, man. <laughs> and there's a lot of great artists out there. I mean, the world, the comic book universe is full of amazing artists, mm -hmm. and you're all fantastic. But what makes Gabriel Walta special is that he can take the simplest of concepts. You know, you, you see a, a note on a page that says, Virginia sits in a room on the couch. <laughs> and he will take that one simple concept and make one panel that is just so emotional, so gut-wrenching just to see one person sitting in a room. Th this partnership between Tom King and Gabe Walta is, was, like I said before, it's a, it's, it's a partnership made in heaven. Because you take somebody who can write such emotional, serious incredible content. content and you mix it with an artist who can take that content and put it in a vision like a yeah ah, vision. and make <laughs> ah, and make a so we're getting emotional just talking about this book i know but yeah he takes he takes these simple concepts these amazing gut-wrenching concepts and just draws panels that you can feel I and mean, you could do this whole book without that. word balloons yep. and you would still cry by the time you get to the end <laughs> so good it's that good um so when's your next project, guys? Mm. That's what I want to know. When are you two getting back together? <laughs> I want to know that too. I don't know when Tom King and Gabe Walter are going to do another book. Yeah. It's incredible. So if it's not already in the works, I hope you two are watching this and get together. You know, there's independent publishers out there if you want to do something that's that. non-Marvel and DC. <laughs> no, they probably already do. <laughs> um, God, so much I want to talk, tell you guys about this book. The, the page reveals in this oh book God. are amazing like just take taking issue number one for example mm -hmm. you're reading issue number one and again no spoilers but you're so caught up into the dialogue and these people's day-to-day -day life and what they're going through and everything is just so gut-wrenching and emotionally awesome and mm -hmm. creepy and borderline scary but and you're so invested in it and then you flip the page and pow boom something incredible happens mind explosion so just read issue number one, and you get towards the issue number one, and some crazy shit happens at the very end. So cool! It's very like it's like the sixth sense of comic books. Like it's like yeah, you read M Night Shyamalan. Of yeah, you're flipping the pages, and it's like, <laughs> whoa! I did not see that coming, and that happens <laughs> almost every almost issue. every issue. By the time you get to issue number four, <laughs> if you're not in tears or running out of the room screaming. <laughs> you have no soul because by the time you get to issue four, you've gone through the entire gamut of emotions. Yeah, roller coaster ride, big it's time. Nuts. So if you weren't lucky enough to pick up this book in 2015 when it came out, you're in luck because mm -hmm. it's coming back to a comic book store near you. There and, and we said this before. I can't believe this is happening because yeah. I've never really heard of this happening. They're not releasing it as a trade. It right. is a trade. Form, but they're re-releasing it in paperback. They're yeah. re-releasing it as in a director's cut format. The new director's cut version, which we got, it came out last week, and yep. uh, we got it and looked through it. It's thick. Every yeah. director's cut issue of this book is, is two issues. I think so. At least I the first one. Is. Yeah, the first one's two issues, and then it's, it has, like, it's like 80 yeah. pages. But of not content. Only, not they, only is it the two issues, but it's got all of the scripts from Tom King in there, and then how um, Gabriel brought the art in relation to the script and yeah. it's just it's so it gives awesome. you sketches so cool. original sketches original concept art mm -hmm. original cover ideas all this cool stuff you get in addition to the first two issues in it so and half of it is <laughs> they give you a full script on one side of the page mm -hmm. the other side of the page is sketch to ink yeah. to color i love it when you do that you I see know, that from time so to time cool. but you don't see it this much of it there's t a ton of it so pick up the director's cut uh issue number one mm -hmm. one one and two technically Right. I mean, I'm vision. assuming they're releasing six because there's it's 12, 12 issue series, so it makes sense there'd be two per book, but yeah. we don't know that for sure. So you gotta go get it. <laughs> you gotta go get it. I can't say enough about this book. I could go on and on and on about it. 
Um, so pick it up, pick it up and read it. And uh, Gabriel and Tom, if you're watching this, <laughs> please send us a comment if we got anything wrong. Please, send us, <laughs> please do something else. And do something else. <laughs> We're dude. like dying here. Partner up, you guys are an incredible team. I know. We can't wait to see what you do again. Tom Amazing. is now working on the Batman run. Yeah. He's Which... killing it over in DC. Before he left Marvel, he uh, signed a contract, or after he left Marvel, he signed a contract with DC, so he's permanently doing DC, he's doing Batman, which, God, that's the mountaintop. To, to own a Batman comic <laughs> right? and to run it is fantastic. And he's doing amazing things with Batman, but nothing can compare to this, the magic of Tom King and Gabriel Walta doing the vision. So if you've never taken our advice, take it now. Please. Pick up the vision, <laughs> go to your local comic book shop, pick up the director's cut, it's gonna blow your mind. It's gonna be the best. It's gonna be the benchmark, the, the the measuring stick you use to measure every other comic book out there. Absolutely, perfect comic for first first comic readers, yeah. starters, whatever you want to say. Like Chuck said, it's available in trade. You can get the whole story probably for like 15, 20 bucks, yeah. or you can get the start picking cut. up the director's board. cut. I mean, why not? It's I think it's like six or seven dollars for that issue, but it's two issues, and, and you can more. buy the whole and more. It's like an eighty-page book. Yeah, and you get tons of content. It's such so. a cool concept to do that, and like again, we can't stress enough how amazing it is that you're doing it a year after the yeah. release of Thank this you for book. doing this. <laughs> so neat. And yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, we're just gushing mm -hmm. over this book. I've been wanting to talk about the vision for the longest time. Shauna's got her typical <laughs> chuckload of goosebumps <laughs> over here. So that's about all we got. Um, Thanks a lot for watching. Yes. Please read the vision. Thanks for subscribing, all you YouTubers. That's right. If you're watching this on Twitter, or if you're watching this on Facebook, please go to our YouTube page, click the subscribe button, because we do the show every single week. Every Sunday is a new episode. That's right. I don't know what we're going to be talking about next week, but it's probably going to not measure up to the vision. And if you like or dislike us, or just want to talk to us, or email, we have an email address, so you can send any comments, questions, whatever to chuckloadofcomics at gmail.com chuckloadofcomics at gmail.com send us questions <laughs> send us comments let yeah. us know how horrible we're doing and we'd be glad to change it Absolutely. in any way we can and I promise if we don't answer a reply like Leo's it took us two months to do this video that's not true we read the email right away we just had to time it out perfectly <laughs> yeah so keep them coming and thanks for watching guys check out the vision uh, more videos coming up next week thanks a lot for taking your time watching the show see you next week bye bye Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we got a lot of other good shows on the YouTube channel, so check them out. We got like that one and that one. Lots of good stuff. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button for more episodes every single week. See you later.